Hello everyone. This is the second video tutorial on Google Collabs. In the first one, we learn how to use Google Collab to create a simple IPython notebook. In this one, let's see how we can use it. So just go to your Google Drive and search for the sample collab notebook so you'll see the search results. So I have already done that part. So I'm just going to open it. So I just double click on this one and then I click on this one so open with Google Collaboratory okay so it's already loaded so it's initializing connected so now our instance is running so let's run these things and see whether it works so it works so let's add a new code here okay so Let's say if you want to install some tool like, uh, let's say it's a Cloud Mesh install. We'll say pip install Cloud Mesh installer. So this is a simple way of installing uh, a pip package. Uh, what you have to do is like you have to uh, put this uh, exclamation mark pip install the package name. So there'll be tons of packages that you need to install when you create your project. Maybe TensorFlow, maybe NumPy, maybe SciPy, um, Scikit-learn. So anything you like, you can install it like this. Let's install another one. Let's install NumPy. And I just pressed Shift Enter so that selected cell is running. Shift Enter like this. Okay. So I'm going to import NumPy. NumPy as in P shift enter so once you press shift enter it adds a new cell automatically so if you just want to like write in the same one just press enter and you can write it here so but I prefer writing in a different cell so I would create a simple array in P and the beautiful thing with this collab is you can press control space after the dot and you can get the intelligence that you get in an ID so I would say random rand one comma two so I create an array called a okay so this is how you just use uh, a simple uh, installation with numpy and uh, create a small example like uh, creating a and random array so this is how you do it with Google Colab in the next tutorial uh, let's see how to work with different runtimes how to do a simple benchmark